There's this look that I see on entrepreneur and marketers' faces, and when I see it, it tears me up. Because it's the look of being completely overwhelmed and lost. Because frankly, we can do anything. We can do influencer campaigns, or email marketing, or SEO, or content marketing, or trade shows, or hitting the phones and doing sales calls. We can literally do absolutely any strategy and absolutely any tactic. And so the question becomes, what do I do? And that is what makes people feel overwhelmed. That is what makes people feel lost. Because we couldn't possibly do all of these things. We can't even do a handful of them very well. We don't have the time, we don't have the money, we don't have the resources. So the question becomes, what should I do? How do I know where to put the money? How do I know that it will work? Whether it will work or not is 100% on the details, 100% on you. There's no universal approach to this. And so you ask yourself, if you know, I have five grand, what should I do with it? Where will I get the most bang for my buck? How will I know that I'm not putting it at risk? If I could put five grand here, or five grand here, or five grand here, which one should I do? Well, frankly, there's 30 different ways to spend that $5,000. And you have to be in a position where you're, you know that you're not putting the money at risk, where you're taking calculated risks. So before we even start talking about comp analysis, we first have to decide what our goals are. We have to be really, really clear on what winning looks like. What is your goal? How do you know if you're winning or not? Because if you can spend the money 30 different ways, well, surely all 30 ways aren't gonna tie back to those goals. And it'll help you eliminate some stuff right off the bat. Get really specific. Do you want more leads? Do you want to be able to win on Amazon? Do you want more phone calls? Or do you want to increase your following on Insta? Or do you want to build your email list or get more white paper downloads? Like be really specific. What is your actual goal? If you are like most entrepreneurs, at least most entrepreneurs I know and work with, you want to grow your revenue. You want to grow your business. And so for most of the work we do, most of the ways that I think, I'm always tying it back to leads. I'm always tying it back to sales. But whether you are focused on sales or not, this strategy, these five steps that we're going to walk through right now can be applied to any campaign any tactic, any go-to-market. Okay, so let's dig in now to the five ways to approach a competitive analysis so you can not only understand who you're competing with, you can actually outsell them, you can outperform them, and you can crush them. Okay, number one, identify your top 10 competitors. You need to develop a list of the 10 people you think you're competing with, and the easiest thing to do is just go to Google. Go to Google, type in a keyword. You know, for, for Fanta here, we could just type in video production company. We could type in you know, marketing agency, just type in some keywords. Look at the top five, 10 companies on each of these keywords. Build a list of who you think your top 10 competitors are. And if you're selling on Amazon, you can go ahead and use a tool like sellerapp.com to find out what's taking place within your product vertical. Now, number two, find your real competitors. Okay, so that list of 10 competitors that you listed down, those are the people you think are your competitors. It doesn't actually mean that they're your real competitors. One, you might not be competing against them for, for leads on all these different platforms, like advertising platforms. Two, they may not even be your competitors because maybe your prospects aren't ever gonna bump up against them. Maybe they're not gonna find these people and these people and have you kind of compete or RFP for things, or maybe you're not even really competing against them. So now the goal is to find your actual real competitors. Don't forget that status quo can be a competitor, that uh, lack of taking action or fear or any of those things. Those are all competing against people moving forward with you. But for the purposes of this comp analysis, we're gonna actually look at real companies. Okay, and so these steps kind of feel a little technical, but they're actually not that technical. You are gonna take this competitor list and you're gonna go into a tool like Moz or SEMrush and you're gonna drop those URLs in there for the top 10 competitors and you're gonna export the list of the top keywords that they rank for. Then you're gonna take the same list of 10 competitors into Moz or SEMrush or something and you're gonna export a list of top competitor keyword overlap. And all that's really telling us is, okay, we have the list of 10, we've put them here and we have keywords now that, that SEMrush or Google thinks that we're competing for and now we're gonna take them and we're gonna take those keywords and we're gonna put those into the system and then it's gonna spit out for us a list of our actual competitors. And we're gonna look, we have 10 competitors and more often than not, the competitors that we thought our competitors are, there's actually like four, five, six, seven new companies that we've never even heard of. Great 
new people that, that could be crushing us that we're not even aware of. And so what you wanna do is you wanna work through this multi-step process so you could ultimately get to the list of your real competitors, not your perceived competitors, because that's what it's about. Coming out of this step, you also have a list of all of these different competitors, real and perceived, and all of these different keywords, and that information will help you in the future if you decide that you wanna do an SEO campaign, if you wanna do content marketing, if you wanna to start to crush people. But for now, the goal is just to get to the list of 10 real competitors. Okay, number three, now's the time to dig into the tactics. If you wanna beat your competitors, the real ones, you actually have to know what they're doing. You have to know what they're doing, what works, and what doesn't work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my list of 10 competitors, your list of 10 real competitors, you're gonna to go to a tool like SEMrush, and you're gonna look for traffic source breakdowns. So you're gonna run the same thing 10 times, the traffic source breakdown. And when you start to pull all of this out for each competitor, you're gonna to start to notice some things. Oh, this person has 200,000 visitors a month. This other person has 8,000 visitors a month. This other person has 1,500. This person has a million. The traffic breakdown, this one company is 90% organic and 2% referral, but no social and no paid. Or this other company is 85% paid and no organic, no brand name. Just looking at their traffic source breakdown will actually start to tell you how they go about getting traffic. If it's really, really high branded traffic, well then they must have a brand name that people know and people must be going and Googling the name, which means they must be doing offline stuff or they've existed for a long time. And that's one indicator of how they've built their brand and their business. If someone else is heavy on organic traffic, well then they must have an amazing content marketing strategy because they're getting all this organic traffic and it's not coming through paid. If it's through paid, then obviously they're doing advertising. If it's through social, then they must be doing a lot of social media stuff. Like just this traffic source breakdown will actually tell you a lot about the tactics that each company is taking. And if you run all 10 and they're all doing similar tactics, well then now you have a bit of an industry trend and you can start to put this in your back pocket for when you develop your plan. So what you're looking for are the consistencies and the outliers. And this will start to show you how and where your competitors are putting their money, their time, their resources, and how they're going about their sales. Okay, number four, review everything they do. So there are a few tools that you can use that where you can actually find out a lot about what your 10 competitors are actually doing. I'm gonna run through a few real quick, but you can find your own tools. There's lots of them out there. These are just some that we use. Okay, first, you can use a tool like BuiltWith, builtwith.com, to see how your competitors' sites are built, what tools they're using. So if you drop in their URL, it might say, hey, this is built on Squarespace. That tells you something about the customer. They might be using all kinds of different tools. It'll give you a little insight to what they're doing, how they built it, and how much money they spent on it. You can use a tool like MailCharts to get a sense of the email marketing tactics they may be doing. This is a cool little tool that'll show you email marketing on the competitor if they're listed within there, so you can get a sense of the messaging, how often the frequency is, and things like that. Next, you definitely wanna sign up for everyone's emails. So if they're doing email marketing, sign up for it, get all of it, get a sense of frequency, what they're offering, what they spend, how, how good they are, how bad they are. It'll also reveal what they're doing on social and what they're doing on content marketing. Sign up for their emails. And then bonus tip, if in their emails they send you coupons, do some secret shopping, buy some stuff see how it's shipped, see the time, get it, open it up, try returning it, get a sense of what their customer service is like. You can do all of that stuff. It'll tell you so much about how they run their company. Okay, here's one more little tip. Thanks to the whole Facebook Russia scandal and the transparency, you can now see what people are doing to advertise on Facebook. So what you wanna do is you wanna log into Facebook, you wanna go to your competitor's page, and then down on the bottom right, you wanna click on see more in the page transparency section. It's gonna open up a new page that'll show you whether they're advertising or not based on country. And you can click go to add library and you can now see all of the ads that they are running on the Facebook platform. So you can see what they're saying, their call to actions, what their creative is like. You can see everything they're doing based on country, based on their advertising. This is huge. And then last little bonus tip in this section, go to each of their websites and then over the next week or two, see if they're remarketing to you. See if you're seeing display ads or banner ads from being on that site. And if you are, take screen captures of it. It'll show you what they're doing to advertise to you off of the Google Display Network or off of other platforms. I know this all sounds super technical. I know it all sounds super detailed, but it's actually not really that hard. It's just about going and finding the places where they're doing stuff and then taking pictures of it 
so that way you can save it for later when you're doing your analysis. If you know that they go to industry trade shows, literally just take pictures of their booth, go talk to someone, get a sense of how they speak to you, pick up their marketing collateral, get a sense of what they're doing, not so you can copy them, so that way you can find holes in what they're doing and do it better than them. And number five, develop your tactics for the win. I mean, at this point, you know your competitors, you know their traffic sources, you know their messaging, you know what they're spending on PPC, you know so much information about them. You need to decide what you are going to do to get the win. How are you going to beat them? If you look at all of this data and you see they are absolutely crushing it on organic, on SEO, on content marketing because they've been around for longer and they have more money and more resources, it doesn't make sense for you to try and compete against that. You're gonna take a paid campaign approach. You're gonna go ahead and buy the awareness. You're gonna buy the traffic. You're gonna circumvent their content marketing strategy because it takes too long and too much money to try and beat them at their game. You're gonna beat them at your game. If they're doing a ton of search ads, PPC or Google or whatever you wanna call it, then you're gonna beat them for the click. You're gonna write better ads. You're going to have stronger landing pages. You're gonna offer better offer codes or you're gonna have a better conversion or customer service process. You will literally work to beat them at every step to steal their clicks, to steal their leads, to steal their closes. If they're super heavy on social or Facebook, on, on building up communities, then you are gonna go out and you're gonna build a better community and advertise against their community. You're gonna to start to leech and take things away because you again have a better offer, you have better creative, you have more focus on it. You can use this information to see what they're doing and how they're doing it and where they're winning and then you can decide if it's a game you wanna to play to beat them at or if you wanna go a different direction. This is the real value of the comp analysis. Yes, you can cherry pick the things that they're doing that you like, but more than copying people, it's actually about finding out what they're doing and how they're doing it. So you can decide, do you want to play the same game and do it better? Or do you want to invent brand new rules and nip at their heels by stealing their traffic, stealing their customers, stealing their leads through other means? Your goal is to steal the traffic, to build awareness, and to close more sales. And the only way to do that is to know who you're competing against, what they're doing, and coming up with a plan to win. Here's the news. I feel like I would be an awesome anchor. If you are looking for more advanced sales, marketing, and advertising tactics, check out this video on how to find your target market. I think you'd like it a lot, and it would mean a ton to me if you subscribe to the channel.